Hey everybody, so on this trip we are staying at the Osable Chasm Campground because across the street is this. The Osable Chasm, which is a pretty incredible natural wonder. So you're going to want to jump on board with us and stay tuned to check out what happens to our motorhome. It wiggles when cars go by. Yeah. Can you take a picture of it? Yeah. You sure do because I want to send these to Gary. Does that make you feel weird? Some of you may have noticed that sometimes Brooke wears a brace or it looks like she's walking with a limp. Well, Brooke is 10 years old now and is aware how this may look. And she wanted me to share with you guys today that the reason for this Hi. is because she had a stroke when she was two years old. Hold on, Brookie. Rocky Point. Same cable? <laughs>
there? This is called the punch bowl. You see that thing spinning in circles down there? Spinning in circles. See how the water is like spinning down there? Oh yeah. I think, is that the punch bowl? This place is awesome.
Yeah. I'm glad we, we can do that on the way back, though. I see a water bottle. Look at what's a metal ball spin. <laughs> Where, do you see a water bottle? Is there a metal ball spin? Yeah. Post office. Where's the post office? That? Hopefully that isn't thunder that we're hearing. Probably like a jet. That's the dam broke. We're gonna be washed away. That's so cool. This part that we're going by is sketchy. Daddy. You can lose 
loosen this. Okay, so come on up and pay attention. How are you wearing it? We need you to hear are you this. Wearing it like the so, well, welcome to our single passing tubing. Um, first safety. Okay. Um, it looks a lot better. Is it like the straps on you? And you're not for any yeah. reason to swim. I won't lose it. Don't worry. Or anything like that. I'm going to ask that we keep our hands and our feet inside the boat at all times today. And if you grab this blue and white striped rope, you will only go home with nine fingers. Ah. Or eight if you are already down one. <laughs> what if you're down? <laughs> All right, let's three. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. bye. Okay, bye. See ya. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to drop me. I'll save a chasm was open up here in 
playground. They don't make them like this anymore. Someone's lost teeth on this thing. Yeah, that's what I already said. Good thing it's not in the sun. It'd burn you. There's one like this at the that state park we went to. Go. Stainless. Your wet butt doesn't let you go. <laughs> Woo! This is awesome. Don't slip. Yeah. It's so fast. Today is Labor Day. Everybody is packing up and going home, but we still have one more day. muffins, eggs, and there's some bacon over there under that paper towel. Yum. What'd you find? So did you get all of them? No, no, no. So, so we got a moss, a bird, specifically, we didn't get, it didn't say a specific bird, but we got a woodpecker. <laughs> cool. A mushroom, flower, the willow sign, and a pine yeah. cone. Cool. No flowers, pine cone. We need to get this one. So if we don't get pledges, we lose our charter. We need 30. 30 pledges? There's seven of us, dude. Technically, seven and a half now. Hey. Now, this is what it looks like all picked up. And we keep everyone's blankets back here. Go claim your prize. Uh 
Oh, uh, no worries. What'd you just do? We did the scavenger hunt and we each got two pieces of candy. Nice. What'd you get, Brookie? Uh, I got Snickers and, and a Twix. Twix. Yum. Okay, here's the playground. All right, it's 12.30 on Labor Day and this campground is pretty much cleared out. It was full over the weekend. Now everybody's gone home. It's empty. kids. Uh, 14, 11, and 10. in the front. Good job, Daddy. So we decided for the trip home that we were going to take the ferry across Lake Champlain to get us over to Vermont.
broken down on the side of the highway, waiting for a tow. So what ended up happening to our motorhome? Well, sit back and enjoy this ride across Lake Champlain while I tell you the story. We were heading down 89 South, about 20 minutes from the New Hampshire border in Vermont. We're heading up a hill and I notice that we start losing speed. I look over at Marcel and he's playing with the transmission buttons. He looks at me and then back at the buttons again. When he looks at me again, I respond with, what? We end up coasting over to the side of the road. No matter what gear Marcel puts the transmission in, it thinks it's in neutral. I end up calling Vermont State Police and they give me the phone number to a tow truck company that could tow our big rig. We end up getting towed to Advantage Truck Group in Lebanon, New Hampshire. So what was the problem? The torque converter broke off from the transmission. Three weeks and thousands of dollars later, our motorhome is ready for the road again. We appreciate you following along with us on our journeys. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching!